Hey, what's up? <laughs> it's another solo one. So, um, yeah, I guess you've noticed I'm not much of a, well, a dude like languages, but i more of a, on the practical side, uh, which is basically I won't shy away from watching, uh, uh, let's say, so-called foreign films, which is, uh, uh, I guess, like, <laughs> from, like, films or, or shows that you would not normally um, let's say watch on a regular basis. Most people focus on uh, American on American shows or, or like the big uh, commercial budgets. And I do like uh, I do like uh, European cinema and like films from other places. So, and among other things, I've noticed that uh, German cinema tend to be very interesting, good and interesting and creative. And uh, <laughs> there's a series that, uh, series, uh, uh, like a TV show, uh, well, it's no longer TV, I guess, that had a lot of success lately, coming from Germany, called Dark. Uh, I suppose I should have called it Dunkel or Schatten, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, and in, so, it, obviously, it's one of my uh, favorite, uh, one of my favorite shows, but it's not necessarily the. Uh, it, it got the recollection it uh, deserved, which I'm quite happy about. But interestingly enough, <clears throat> not too long ago, I watched another uh, another film. Like uh, it's a, this time it's not a TV uh, series. It's a it's a film, a short film, a fairly short film uh, from a Norwegian Norwegian author. And that was quite interesting because I don't know much about Norway, uh, like about Norway, like. They, they have a big metal scene, so obviously I've known quite a lot. <laughs> I've learned like about Norway from that, which is not really related to cinema. But anyway, uh, it's called Cadaver. And uh, I was wondering why these two shows have similarities. Like, uh, they give off a similar vibe. And I was wondering why. Whereas, like, they, they tend to be quite different. So, um, like, first of all, I, I'll describe them a bit, and we'll try to see like when, which which areas they they differ and what really links them together. I just just noticed it basically today, like why I really felt like the these two shows give a similar vibe. So, like the first one, dark, uh, really spoke to me a lot because it's actually set in a, a little town near a nuclear power plant. So, you know, they really click, click with it because I also, well, basically I also grew up in a little, like, little place near nuclear power plants and I can find, I can see how, like, basically uh, the fact that there's a, there's a nuclear power plant brings uh, money to the town. Like, you see how it was, like, thriving in the 80s. And what's interesting is the German context because German people really dislike, uh, like, nuclear energy. They really have issues with it. And uh, it's fun to see the attitude like really changing within the context of the show, like toward this uh, this sort like this source of energy. And uh, yeah, the fact that the city was really thriving in the eighties and like sort of stagnant in the two thousands. So I have to explain myself. This show is mainly about time travel. Like you can see some uh, people. Like due to a specific, uh, I think it's linked to quantum physics and like the God particle. Unfortunately, I'm really crap at physics, but that's the idea behind it. Uh, like uh, the protagonist can travel back in time, and it is really quite interesting because you're following like several generations of people intertwine and uh, meeting and like leaving, traveling. Throughout like different uh, moments in t uh, like different place, uh, no, it's always the same place, but different moments in time, and that's uh, super interesting to see how basically the they interconnect, and some some uh, people end up uh, like some of the characters end up stuck in uh, <laughs> in the nineteenth century, for example, and what do they do there, and like you see them sort of evolve and. Uh, you notice like they have like some uh, family uh, relations and how like basically every single character has its own um, uh, its own shock uh, reveal when it comes to the uh, its uh, its birth. Like for instance, the main character finds out that the um, 
uh, there's a kid that went missing. Yeah, I should have started with that. Like <laughs> the main scenario is like some kids who go missing, and uh, they they're trying to find them. And uh, we find out that actually there's a quite a lot of mystery around this town, and that people can travel through time there. And that's really the main uh, the main focus of the show. And so one of the kids that was missing, which is uh, the main character's uh, sort of love interests uh, brother, ends up like traveling back in time and ends up stuck in the eighties. And we find out that it's actually this man's father, like this, uh, the, the main protagonist's father, the, the main character's father. Um, so it is quite interesting, everything is uh, revolves around this idea. So, the other show on the other hand was, uh, is about a family trying to survive in the post-apocalyptic world after, like, uh, in, uh, in Norway where the food is scarce and there's really nothing much going on, everything is grey. But they're invited in this absolutely wonderful uh, palace and uh, uh, they, they can eat to their heart's content, there is nothing to pay there, and they can actually visit the palace and it's a really beautiful place and they're acting, basically. Uh, there used to be a, like kind of theatre representations uh, where like happening there, like there was a casino if I'm not mistaken, and we kind of we follow what is going on within the casino. So it's um, the landscape is really nice, but there's some foreboding atmosphere in there, and we turned out that things are not as simple as they presented, and. Uh, <laughs> So, I was wondering why those, uh, those two, uh, like, it's fairly different. I know that for a lot of people, kind of Germany and uh, Norway, they're not that different. But actually, uh, it's, uh, uh, it is quite, uh, even if you have some similarities, it's not exactly the same culture, the same uh, notions or anything. And the two shows explore different themes. Uh, well, they're both like, you can include the post-apocalyptic post world as well if you wish, but it's really surface level. But one thing that really marked me, and I've noticed two things about these shows that link them to my, uh, in my head, and that's why I really like both and uh, recommend both of them, is that both um, uh, Cadaver and Dark um, basically play with the, the idea of theatre. Uh, you can see that the the protagonist the in dark I sh don't think I should say the main the protagonist because it's really the character that travels back in time the the most uh, but his love interest ends up being another like the two they basically the two the, the the two components without those two characters nothing happens there's another character the main uh, I guess you could say a main character. Yeah. Who is also um, who is really interested in theater? As uh, she's uh, uh, trying to um, perform a play when most of the events happen within the series, and uh, I think it's Antigona, but I'm not certain. And uh, you can see, and um, for Cadaver. The mother was a uh, was a performer. She was a she was an actress on stage, and the whole uh, the whole film is at at first set like a um, theater representation. So there's really this notion of theater running through both of uh, I guess if you want to call it that, and uh, it's it's really quite present and it's interesting because you can really feel some really theatrical aspect to both of them. It's very... Um, there's a, some gravity to it that you wouldn't find in um, your run-of-the-mill run, run um, sci-fi show. And another one that is also linked to theatre, in a way, um, is the fact that both um, films both both evoke evoke the evoke evoke the the Greek uh, the Greek mythology of and Greek culture. 
So the within Kadava, you have a sort of retelling of the myth of uh, Tantalus, who killed his own sons to feed to, uh, in order to feed them to the gods, and uh, these uh, and was is uh, punished afterwards in uh, in the Hades, where basically he's not allowed to eat anything. Uh, there you have a similar thing, like <laughs> the food that was provided to the guests within the in the, in the cadaver. Well, hence the title. They're basically dead bodies. Like uh, he's uh, uh, he's catching is uh, is basically uh, kidnapping people and killing killing them and feeding them to the people coming to the, the to to the theater representation. So as you can say, it's pretty dark, <laughs> and it's a dark retelling of an already extremely dark uh, story, like the Tantalus. And ha and for the other one, dark for the uh, for the series, series, dark. It's a retelling of the myth of uh, Oedipus, where you have the main characters, the main characters. Uh, 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 well, the, the the two protagonists are basically not the main character, the two protagonists protagonist uh, linked the um, the main fe female lead is actually the main the uh, masculine leads uh, aunt which is yeah very much <laughs> a pretty strong telling of uh, Oedipus and I found uh, I found that quite funny you really have uh, well, it's not exactly funny but it's you you really have like those two uh, work of arts are trying to evoke the Greek myths and myth and Greek uh, culture, like mythology, and uh, it was quite interesting to see some northern nation trying to attempt that. So uh, it was a bit of a mess of a vlog, but I guess I wanted to talk about these two things, and I recommend them both. So yeah, dark and cadaver. So. The usual YouTube stuff, and I guess I rambled on, and I hope uh, Iglika is gonna fix that in post pro. So you know, like, subscribe, and the usual stuff. See ya.